<laughs> he was awesome. He really was. Rudy, I was one of the folks who was absolutely crying when they played your video because you were an incredible inspiration to millions of people. And growing up seeing that movie, I was not someone who participated in team athletics, but seeing your movie helped me understand what would be possible for me. And it was just incredible. And I know that there are millions of people around the world who look at you as one of those people who's a huge inspiration and probably has been since they were a kid. And what I wondered is when you were younger, who was that person that was your inspiration? Who was the person that you saw and you thought, oh, look, if that guy can do it, I can do it. Because I feel like so many of us model someone else and say, oh, you, you're proving it's possible. Now I've got to put in the work. Who proved it was possible for you? Wow, that's a great question. You know, I have many different heroes as I grew up. Uh, Mickey Mantle. Uh, uh, for some reason, Mickey Mantle stuck in my... It's just the way Mickey Mantle was portrayed or the narrative of Mickey Mantle. I never looked in his past what he, type of guy he was, but he went through a lot of struggle later on as I found out more about him. But he was type of guy that when you grow up in sports, baseball, I had, I was I want to go for the Yankees. And that's why Mickey Mantle was a big hero. But that's what you heard on the radio. Then it comes down to the uh, ordinary guy, the mail carrier, who was also always nice to you and made you feel good. And that type of guy. So you go from the extreme to the ordinary. And, and, and then you balance them together. They both had work hard. They both loved what they were doing. So there's something there. And, and that's what, so I said, I could be like the mailman to contribute to that type of dream too, because his dream was to go to the Chicago White Sox and just go watch the White Sox play the Yankees. So that was his dream. Uh, you know, little things like that, I think. But it was really tough, when, especially when I got in high school. One of the, if it wasn't for my high school coach, I would never really thought positive of myself because in school I had a tough time academically. But my high school coach said, Rudy, if anybody could do it, you could do it. And it, it always stuck with me. So he was that another hero of mine. That's incredible. I love how you find the extraordinary in what other people would call ordinary. I yeah. think that mindset is something that we would all benefit from. Yeah, and you know what? That's what life is. We We... I, I looked at a movie, for an example, and I said, man, I would love to make a movie like Rocky. Well, why can't you? That's amazing. I love Andy that. Did. Thank and you did. And April is a uh, proud veteran. Uh, she served uh, our country in the Air Force. Hey, God bless. My, my uh, father was Air Force in B-17 bomber, 22 missions. Great hero of mine. And I'm an ex-Navy guy, so... Thank you we for your service. Coming. Yeah, thank you. Let's Stop. let's stay with the military theme. So we have Colonel uh, Scott Heathman uh, on with us, and the good Colonel has a question for you, Rudy. Yeah, 